Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input and strings, part 11. Play it again and again and again and again. When the user clicks the play again button, the first screen should reset and not show the user's previous text. We have a do this. When the play again button is clicked, clear the text from each text input on screen one and some free play. We can add images or how-to steps for your Mad Libs and invite others to play. I'm really only going to cover this first one today, but I really highly encourage you to take this further. This is a really fun project. At the end, it should end up with blank screens. So right now, if I just did, let's go ahead and hit run. Let's just add some random text into here. When we hit next, it'll output on both of these. When we go to play it again, it still has that text in there. And that's really what we want to get rid of. Well, how do we do that? Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. On this one, what I think I want to do is after it's done, I want to reset the text somehow. Hmm. Where would I want to reset the text? Well, I want it on the play again screen. Down here where my play screen's at. I'm going to give myself some space and let's just put set text, some parentheses and quotes in here. And for our first one, this is, if we reset it, go to the screen, this is a uh, plural noun input. So let's just do P, P noun input. That is P noun input and down here, semicolon. Before we move on, we have one other thing to do. If you look here at the set text, it's an ID and the text. Well, I only set the ID. I actually have to set the text too. Well, what I want it set to, I want it to be blank. So I'm gonna put some quotes around here and nothing on the inside. Set the text of P noun input, which is right here. And we want that to be blank when the play it again button is clicked. Let's go ahead and try that out. Well, there you go. It already clears it off. Going to next, we get them both to come up here, play it again, it clears that one out, but not the others. So I know I'm on the right path. So go ahead and keep adding those. So set text, let's just copy and paste this. Control C, oops. And the next one here is going to be Let's reset so we can get our names up here. The next one's going to be noun input one. So we come over here. That's noun input one. The next one is going to be exactly the same, but two. So I'm going to control V, control C, control V. And this is going to be two. Let's do, this one is going to be a song input. And our final one, This one is going to be verb input. And our semicolon. That is verb input, verb input right there. We have an unclosed string. 
Well, what is that unclosed string we're talking about? We want our set screen to be last because we want our text to go everywhere. So let's go ahead and move this to our bottom. Oh, down here we forgot our quotations. There we go. Cleaning up our screen. Don't forget your quotes. If you saw there, that quote was off. So now we got everything pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit run. Well, here's what I want to do. Every time I hit run, for some reason, it defaults to this screen. And I want to get that fixed. How can I do that? Hmm. Let's hit reset here. That's actually pretty easy. If we go to our code here and up top, all we have to do is just set our screen to our lib screen when we first run our code. So now when I hit run, the first thing it should do is set the screen and then run the rest of everything. Let's go ahead and hit run and see if that's happening. There you go, we're finally to the proper screen there. All that was was that one line of code. Let's go ahead and enter some words here. We'll do driving. Um, I just bought a new Chevy. So let's use volts. That's my car. A noun, let's say North Royalton. Another noun, let's say the computer lab. A song to be playing. Let's use my SimCity 3000 soundtrack. And a verb, we'll do driving. When I hit next, this should be outputted to my debug console as well as to my screen. Let's see if that happens. Learning to drive is a tricky process. There are a few rules you must follow. Keep two volts on the steering wheel at all times. Step on the North Royal to speed up and the computer lab to slow down. Your parents will just love it if you play the SimCity 3000 soundtrack on the radio, and I guarantee they will. Make sure to honk your horn when you see driving on a street. Those are all in uppercase. It all outputted down here in lowercase so I can check. Let's see if I hit play it again. And oops, everything but two happened there. Hmm. So down here, it says noun input one and noun input two do not exist. Oh, I have capitalization should be lowercase. So all that was right there was just an upper lowercase. Let's reset, run, pops up to our screen. Let's just do some tests here to make sure. Hit next, all uppercase, all lowercase. Play it again, all resets. And whoops, we still have an ID. Oh, we just have a rogue one here. We just didn't need to set that text. That's all that was, an extra line of code. Let's try this one more time. Test one, test two, test three, test four, test five. Next, test one, test two, test three, test four, test five, lowercase down here, play it again, everything's empty. If I hit next, it just goes back there. When I reset and run it, pops up to the right screen. Looks like my program finally after all this is complete. We had a lot of steps there. We had a lot of errors. 
Thankfully, I commented everything out so it's easy to just jump around and find it. Let's see if code.org wanted anything else from us. Nope. Kids, you did a really good job on this. I know this was a difficult project, but you finished it. Good job. All right. I will see you all on lesson seven.